Yo, what's up guys? It's Hoodie from Hoodie Plays, and today I have a Sun and Moon Volcanian deck list for you guys. Um, I'm gonna be showing you guys the deck list and talk about why I play certain cards, because my list is a little bit different than the normal Volcanian lists that you've been seeing around probably. Um, and then we'll play a couple games and you guys can formulate your own opinions on it after those games. But let's get right into it. Um, I think the Volcanian is a really good play right now before Sun and Moon 2 comes out because whenever water patch hits you never really know because um, it still might be a good play once water patch hits because if water box or like water variants get really good that means Lorantis gets really good and as long as Lorantis is really good Volcanion will be good and I think that some form of Lorantis will be good for a while so um, this could be a pretty decent deck for a while down the road and um, it just gets more cards that make it better in the next sets but for right now um, for all the tournaments leading up to I believe Virginia Virginia will be the last regionals that will have um, whatever it is it's like primal clash or something until uh, Sun and Moon one like those tournaments this will be the list or this will be a variant of the list that you'll want to be looking at so um, First off, we'll start off with the elephant in the room. I play Young Goose, or uh, Gumshoes, I, I mean, I play Young Goose also. I play Gumshoes GX. Now, I actually really, really, really like this card. I think it's really, really, really good. Let me tell you the reasons why I think it's good in Volcanion. So first of all, you're not using a GX attack in this deck at all, right? So like, uh, um, you're really not gonna be, uh, like, I mean, you're really not losing anything by adding a GX attack in there. Also, just adding the 1-1, one, one, like, thin line, um, it allows you to, like, if you get it, that's great. If you don't, it's okay, and it's not taking up too much space where it's really, like, making the deck really clunky. Like, if you're running 2-2, two, two, like, 4 spots is a lot. 2 spots is really just, like, a catcher and, like, something else. I, I, I play catchers in this list, too, but um, I think it's really, really good for the obvious reasons of search the premises where you get to look at your opponent's hand you're able to make plays off of looking at your opponent's hand which is really really good i mean you're not just like thinking they might have this card you know because you're able to look at their hand it's great um and the gx attack gumshoe chance is so good it's so amazing one energy and this attack does 50 times uh the amount of energy on your opponent's pokemon plus 10 so um, if they have four energies, which they need on um, on a Yveltal or a Mega Mewtwo, they need four energies. Um, so, sorry, I just I don't know what's going on. I just like drank some water, and now I'm like weird. But anyways, um, they need four energies to be able to one shot your uh, um, your Fighting Fury Belted, whatever it's called, Baby Volcanion. So they have to put that on there. Gumshoes GX can come out with one energy. Um, flip over that GX thing and you do 210 damage, they're dead. Uh, you get to take two prizes, you win the prize trade, they can't swing back and kill Gumshoes. Like, technically they could, but in standard for both of those decks, there's it's so unlikely that they're able to do 210 damage back to your Gumshoes with one energy on it. Uh, it's it's just ridiculous. I think it helps the Mewtwo matchup a lot, which is a really, really hard matchup for Volcanion. Um, I think it's still probably 60-40 Mewtwo, but it helps you trade a whole lot better. Like, a whole, whole, whole lot better. Uh, so, I think it's a good card. Like, l looking at your opponent's hand, making the prize trade better with Evil Tall and with that. I mean, it even helps with... with uh, um, with other decks too that you need to take like emergency KOs like say Rainbow Road you have to take an emergency KO to like wipe all their energy off the board or something um, they have three on that Xerneas even if they have Fighting Free Belt they still die um, and then they can't swing back and and uh, kill Gumchus realistically um, if you've uh, um, if you've knocked all their energy off the board but that is uh, that is yeah that is why he is in the deck I think he's really good play two shaman uh, you really have to play shaman in this deck it's really 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 good play one Entei combat blaze 20 plus 20 more for each of their bench Pokemon it F's up Rayquaza dude it F's up Rayquaza so bad Entei actually bodies that deck as a whole it bodies Rainbow Road it helps you trading with Rainbow Road really 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 well um, I think this card is amazing I wish I could play two I really really do um, that's why I play Super Rod, so I can bring it back, because I really, really wish I could play two of this card, because I think it's amazing right now. Uh, really, really good. We only play two baby Volcanians. 
um, because I am playing the catcher variant, so I'm trying to be aggressive. I'm trying to not power heater for too long. I mean, if they're just letting me like deal a ton of damage and power heater all day, then that's fine. But I'm really trying to get into Volcanians and start taking prizes on shamans and, and like start taking fast prizes um, as quick as possible with with uh, catcher flips. So I don't really need to power heater forever. Um, so only two of those. Run one Hoopa. We hope we don't prize it because uh, having Ultra Ball in our hand for turn one is pretty busted if we don't um, prize the Hoopa. Run three Volcanion. Uh, obviously, you probably know what Volcanion does. Uh, you discard a fire energy from your hand and all your fire Pokemon now do 30 more damage. Um, it's great because you just you discard those fires to power up your your baby Volcanion and make him do more damage. And then uh, he attaches those fires places. Very common knowledge. I, I assume most people would know that, but I mean, if you don't, then there you go. Play two energy retrieval because you get to put two basic energy cards back into your hand, which is really good for late game, pretty much like mostly late game stuff. Uh, you're able to just grab it and just put it back in your hand so you can steam up late or get an extra like attachment late. Um, most of the time it's going to be used for double steam up, but uh, but yeah. We run an escape rope because Jolteon and just because a switch card that's not floatstone is good. We, we run two max elixirs. Um, it's not needed in the deck, but it helps a lot. I actually think I could probably play without it. Um, and maybe put in like another nest ball and a fourth volcanion like maybe if I really wanted to but it's nice because it allows me the ability to be able to power up um, a volcanion EX in two turns and an Entei in one uh, so it's it's pretty good it's pretty good um, run one nest ball which I could run to really really good card in this deck really 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 good you can grab everything but shaman and hoopa with it um, and I mean I I guess the uh, the gumshoes GX but I mean that doesn't really count uh, we're running three catchers, and the reason why I run catcher, um, even though it's a flip, uh, the the text on this is not correct. Uh, I just like using the old artwork. You flip a coin, if heads, uh, then you get to drag one of their Pokemon out to the active. I really like it because the matchups versus Garbodor are really, really hard right now, uh, and we don't have Field Blower yet, which is the basically the tool scrapper from the next set. This deck is going to be so much better once we get Field Blower. Oh my god, this deck is going to be good. Well, I mean, depending on how much water support we get. But anyways, um, yeah, basically, uh, you run catchers so you can pull up the Garbodors, and so you can knock them out uh, with, like, a Volcanion's attack or... Um, I'm actually, I've, I've even taken a lot with Entei uh, Combat Blaze, but um, you're able to pull up the uh, the Garbodor and then just knock it out and not have to deal with it and uh, get your abilities back on so you can continue to steam up and you can continue to um, set up. So good stuff right there. We run one Super Rod because I want the second Entei and it's also nice to help me from decking out. If I, if I really have that problem, I, I can bring Fires back into the deck even though I have Energy Retrieval already. Um, it's it's just a good card to bring back Pokemon when I need them. I also I only run uh, two of these for like aggression purposes, but if I really needed to, um, if I really needed like a third one, it's nice to have Super Odd. I can I can bring him back. Same with my Volcanions. Like if I get paralleled, um, it's also there for the parallel city matchup. Um, if I get paralleled, have to discard a lot of my Pokemon off my bench. I can get him back with Super Odd later on. Three Trainers Mail. Wish it was four, but three still very consistent. Um, it allows me to grab like Ultra Ball early on, or like a Supporter early on, or like a Sky Fielder, or uh, something like that early on. Uh, Max Elixir stuff like that. But um, it just grabs all the trainers. Four Ultra Balls because if we don't prize Hoopa, and even if we do, if we don't prize Hoopa in both Shaman, like Ultra Ball turn one's really, really, really good. Um, I mean, so that's why we run the trainer's mail to ensure that we get an Ultra Ball on our first turn of the game. Run three versus Seekers. Uh, this is a little bit, I mean, it's not that far off of like the norm, the norm's four, but I talked to a lot of players at St. Louis Regionals, um, specifically John Roberts, who won nationals in, I believe, 2012. I believe it was 2012. Uh, yeah, with clang clang but he's a really good player he he consistently does pretty well i talked to him about it and he wants to put in more supporters into his deck and less versus seekers because 
A lot of times he's drawing versus seekers when he wishes there were supporters, like he'd, early games specifically when he doesn't have a supporter yet, he's drawing a lot of them. So in order to cut down on, on, on the clunkiness, I'm trying out three versus seekers. Obviously versus seeker is an amazing card, bring back any supporter and just be able to play it. Um, but without battle compressor now, um, I feel like versus seeker is a little bit worse. Uh, just, just a tad worse. It's still really, really fucking good, but just a tad worse. Um, and so I'm just trying out three for now and seeing what I can do. Uh, running three Skyfield um, because we are running the Gumshoes. Uh, we really don't need all that space, but when you're hoopaing, that's an extra spot. Then you're shamaning, that's an extra spot. And then you have your Baby Volcanion and your Volcanion EXs, and then your Young Goose, and then your Entei possibly. I mean, I just named off all my Pokemon, but you know, uh, you you need a lot of spots on the bench, so you don't need the eight, the full eight. But it helps, um, and your matchup versus Rayquaza isn't that bad anyway. Uh, so yeah, there's there's that. Then uh, we run one Fisherman just to bring back energy cards from the discard, because you are getting rid of a lot of them with Steam Up. Double Lily, because turn one Lily is pretty busted. It allows you to get pretty much your whole... I mean, depending on what you draw, obviously, it allows you to basically get your entire setup. Um, on, on turn one, you're able to get like just about everything if you're able to like mill your hand down to one or two and then like lily for seven or six like you're gonna get just about everything you need for the first turn um so that's a really 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 good card one lysander because even though we play catcher we want one guaranteed way to pull stuff up um two n because n's a good card but we don't need more than two of it one ranger because it allows us to use volcanion's attack twice um or i mean again you're able to refresh it. It also stops Jolteon and other annoying stuff like that. Run Kakui to get that extra 10 damage because specifically the Mewtwo matchup, um, I forget how much HP Rayquaza has. It might be 220, but I know specifically Mega Mewtwo has 210. Um, so you hit for 130, right? You hit for 130. Um, and then you steam up twice, so 30 and then 60. So you're hitting for 190. And then you Kakui and boom! You have your 210 right there, so you're able to knock it out with uh, Volcanion. Um, then we also run three Sycamore, because Sycamore is a good card. We run two Fighting Fury Belts, wish it could be three, uh, but have not been able to fit the space in there right now. Three Floatstone, because Floatstone in this deck is really, really, really good. Um, and then we run 10 fires. A lot of people run 12 or 11. Um, I've, I've even seen as much as 14 in a um, in an ex or a uh, in a sun and moon on Volcanion list. I think that's nutty. Uh, but I like the majority of the time that I clunked in testing with this deck, it was a handful of fires. So I was like, maybe I just need 10. Like maybe I don't need that many. So I'll try out 10 and I'll see if it works and I'll see if I still get my support and all that stuff. And I did. So I'm still getting um, all my late game support from Fires, and I'm not clunking early game as much. Um, obviously, playing Volcanion, it still happens sometimes, but uh, but not nearly as much. Um, so that's uh, that's why I just run 10. But that's the deck. We're gonna get into a few games, and uh, you guys will be able to see how it's played, and you'll be able to see if you guys like it. So here we go. Yo, so we found a opponents <laughs> i i was i was pausing because he's playing like dragon dark and psychic and normal oh so we're playing against turbo dark one of our worst matchups uh nice 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 we'll see how this goes we'll see how this goes <laughs> should be interesting should be interesting um we get to go first though so that's cool always like going first versus anything uh, when we are gonna lead off with a baby Volcanion, so pretty good start, pretty good start. Uh, I kind of wish I was going second now, actually, because I kind of wish he would have to put down his stadium. My opponent is gonna lead off with a. Oh, I guess we're not gonna see. We gotta put out prizes first. He leads out with his Jirachi first, so I'm gonna go ahead and float stone out that. I'm gonna put that down. I am going, ooh, no, not yet. I'm going to Skyfield, and uh, even though I do believe he plays Parallel, and I'm just going to drop down the Sycamore. So we are going to get to Trainer's Mail for hopefully Ultra Ball. No Ultra Ball here. So I'm going to grab N off of that, and uh, we are just going to have to end our turn for now. Um, I did want to grab N there because we can't really Lily next turn, and I don't want to Sycamore away 
uh, two catchers and my escape rope when I'm not even going to be using it yet, so that's that. Um, if he's not able to get the Jirachi out of the active, that kind of sucks because it means that we are going to be taking a prize on turn one and uh, the rest of the game will just be end. Oh, he is playing Reverse Valley, so he must have two in his hand or else he wouldn't have Ultra Ball the way that right there. Or he just really, really, really needed that Ultra Ball. One of the two. Yeah, uh, or he, he really uh, needed the other two, or the other four cards in his hand, I should say. Um, but we'll see what happens. He's going to hoop up probably for, like, Dark Ride, Dark Ride Shaman, I would assume. Uh, he sees my baby Volcanion, so... Uh, I do really like how this game has an elo system now. There was a long time where I played against like theme decks and really dumb stuff for for like a long time, and now I'm playing against pretty good, pretty good decks over and over and over again. Uh, he did get, I, I believe he got what I thought he would get. No, 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 he didn't. He got a Giratina, not a Shaman. Uh, he's gonna attach DDE to the Giratina. Uh, does he really want to do his Giratina stuff in this game? I don't think it matters that much. He's going to max Elixir to the Darkrai, I would assume. Um, I mean, obviously, like, you're going to put your DDDs on the, uh, on the, uh, the Giratina anyway for max damage. He's going to end me, hopefully ending me in, into a better hand. I mean, that hand, I would have basically just had to, like, draw N, like, right away, depending on what I got. Uh, so this time, ah, oh, that hand's not much better. That hand is not much better, but it's uh, something we can definitely deal with. Um, putting, uh, like, losing energy retrieval is the main thing. He's gonna put out Dark Ray. Uh, I don't know what you're trying to do. Um, I guess he's just trying to not give up that prize, but that doesn't really make that. Oh, he plays parallel. He's gonna limit me. He's he's gonna limit me to three. Okay. So he's gonna limit me to three, which kind of. Oh my god, and we drew another fire. That sucks so bad. That's not that's not what we wanted to happen at all. So I'm gonna have to use this turn to attach to Young Goose actually, and uh, and sick more away the rest of that stuff unfortunately. So. We are going to get Skyfield, though. So we're going to get Skyfield. We're going to get a Nest Ball. Uh, with that Nest Ball, I'm going to grab a Volcanion. Um, going to steam up one time. One time for the, uh, for the homies back home. And then going to Shaman for three. Playing Shaman against Turbo Dark is kind of scary, but... Uh, I think it's necessary. Um, you can Ultra Ball away Lysander, and you can Ultra Ball away Verseeker. And now we could get another Volcanion, we could get Gumshoes. Gumshoes is cool because it allows us to just like, um, catcher slash Lysander up the Giratina and get rid of energies if they put a lot of Giratina, uh, if they put a lot of energies on the board. So I think I'm actually just gonna get Gumshoes because Gumshoes is pretty useful right now. I'm gonna go ahead and search the premises. He has Verse Seeker, Ultra Ball Dark, so he's probably gonna Ultra Ball away the Dark and something else to start off his turn. Probably, more than likely. What's he hitting me for? 20, wait, is, is it 20 times? It's 20 plus. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Oh, God, that's just rough. That's just rough. Uh, but uh, I think we have to do it, so we're just going to hit him for 50. Going to get some damage on the board and going to hit up the Shaman and the uh, Volcanion on the bench. Are we two stadiums down? We are two stadiums down from my opponent. He probably has like one or two more. We're one stadium down ourselves, um, so we're winning the stadium more at the moment. He's gonna end us, which is fine with me. He's gonna attach uh, the the energy, and then just end just to make sure that he didn't whiff energy and is able to attack this turn. Uh, probably gonna get into some sort of max elixir this turn to be able to knock us out. I would assume 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Yeah, he's hitting for 100 right now, so he needs two max elixirs. 
Uh, he's gonna hit us with the parallel, but we do have our sky field right there. So he's just gonna swing for a hundred, which is completely fine, actually. Um, completely fine, completely fine. So we're gonna go ahead and sky field back up. Uh, we are going to. Is there any need to catch her right now? Actually, yeah. If we can catch her up, his uh, his other dark ride, he's in a kind of bad situation actually. Going to ultra ball away, ultra ball and N. Going to get another full canyon ex. Going to go ahead and attach right there because we didn't attach last turn, or uh, sorry, we got rid of so many fire energy is oh uh, there's only one in there but uh, oh well um i'm gonna drop down this other volcano i think yeah i'm gonna do it i'm gonna search the premises look at his hand after the end he got dark rye fighting fury bell ultra ball and not really a way to get this out of the active not really a way to get it out of the active um i could do that and steam up I really don't think I need to though I really just don't think I need to so I'm just gonna hit him for 20 and drop that energy on there He's going to put a Fighting Fury Belt on that one on the bench that we already did 52. So it's at 170, um, which means Fighting Fury Belt uh, on our Volcanion EX ourselves is, is a pretty good play because it means we only have to steam up once um, to be able to knock it out. Uh, he's he's going to Ultra Ball for the Oranguru. Okay, so he does not play Garbodor, so that's cool. A lot of these variants play Garbodor. Um, this one doesn't, so I am all down for that. Like, the less Garbodor's, the better, my man. The less, the better. He's gonna Max Elixir. Undo the Dark Ray on the bench. And he's gonna play Sigmar, so. <sighs> my man's gone through a decent amount of Verse Seekers already. He's gone through two Verse Seekers, uh, two ends. He got Escape Rope. Alright, so what are we hitting for? 20? Alright, 20. 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140. We're just going to put up Gumshoes. He can't one shot me. He's going to XP share the other Dark Rye. So that's, I mean, it's good and it's bad. Um, we need to swing first. Like, we need to take the first knockout. That's going to be a main thing here. Because taking the first knockout versus. Uh, Versus Turbo Dark is pretty crucial, and being able, uh, and like the necessity of sustaining as well is also going to be pretty crucial. Uh, no, not Fisherman. Please, God, don't make me take Fisherman. I would be so upset because I have zero in there. I'm just gonna end. Hmm. The Ente is doing a little bit of damage right now. He's actually doing 120 at the current moment. Um, I'm gonna lay down this float. There. I'm actually gonna do this. 
First off, I'm gonna search the premises. He has escape rope, which kind of sucks. But it's still not that bad. Uh, I'm going to retreat into Shaman and I'm gonna Sky Return for 30. Uh, it allows me to just be able to. And then I'm probably gonna sacrifice the Entei. Yeah, I'm just gonna sack the Entei. Yeah, it's probably my best play. He attaches DDE, which means a catcher to the uh oh and a fighting fairy ball so that puts him at what 210 so i think it's still an, i mean it's it's a knockout yeah yeah it's a knockout so uh gumshoes is going to need to knock that thing out and take all those energies off he's is, is, is he gonna end me he is gonna end me so my shaman's gonna go away and my two fires are also gonna go away which kind of sucks um but that does mean he can't play lysander this turn um, so he is just gonna be only able to kill the Entei, which is completely fine with me. One ninety, and that is going to take out my my homie. Uh, I'm just gonna put up uh, Gumshoes for now. Um. So if if I if I hit this catcher, which I okay. So I'm just gonna take out the Giratina right now, um, cause we'll win the prize trade in the end. Uh, I'm gonna Fighting Fury Belt him, and I'm gonna put that there. Yeah, we win this prize trade in the end. I'm gonna leave us where we are right now, so. Uh, just gonna well i'm gonna search the premises first just see what he has in his hand um super odd lysander dde um nothing that matters too terribly much especially since we're knocking this out comes your chance for 210 damage and the knockout and that's a reason why gumshoes is good double trainers mail off of that so that's cool at least it's uh two cards we can play Hopefully we don't have to lay the Shaman down. Um, I don't want to put the Shaman down if I don't have to. Um, he's able to attach DDE on the bench over there to the uh, to the Giratina again. And he's just going to Dark Pulse for the knockout. So, no more search in the premises, but that was a big energy knockout right there for us. Um, definitely clutch. So we're going to put up that guy. Um, hmm. so what do we have to do? Can I just 140? I, I knock you out. So 140, I just knock you out. Um, I have two VS Seeker already in the discard. I need to attach this turn is what I need to do. So I need to attach there. That's that's a must. Uh, I'm going to play Trainer's Mail. Um, I'm going to look at the playmat. See what's in my discard, actually. Uh, is there anything worth super adding? There really isn't. But I really don't want that Floatstone either. So um, I'm actually just going to like fail that one. I'm gonna trainer's mail again, and I'm gonna get probably that. Does that help my math at all, or should I get the catcher and try to go for the? I'm gonna go for this. I'm gonna go for the fighting fury belt because fighting fury belt helps my math um, against the Giratina. It allows me to only have to steam up once, so I'd only have to find one energy. Um, so I'm gonna do that and then I am just going to Lily for three because I really don't have to do anything too drastic this turn we get the catcher and we get double shaman so we're in pretty decent shape next turn uh, we can just retreat into um, the Vulcanian and we can just go for volcanic heat uh, for 140 for the knockout so 
we're going to be down to two prizes. He has a lot of cards in his hand, most likely. I mean, but at this point, because he took that one prize knockout on our Ensei, even if he were to end us at this point, we still get to, uh, um, we get cards that really don't matter, but at least we have Ultra Ball. So we can just get rid of those. Uh, so even even if he ends us at this point, which he has a ton of cards in his hand, even if he ends us at this point, we're okay. He's going to max elixirs. He's going to do a lot of damage. Uh, 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, 140, 160, 180. He's not able to knock us out yet, actually. That's crazy to me. Uh, but he, ooh, Lysander up. He is able to knock that out. He is able to knock that out. However, I think he just loses the game now. Yeah, he just loses the game now. If we can steam up twice... Yeah, okay, so... Steam up. Energy retrieval. and steam up am i missing something like i think we just win now that's uh yeah that's that's just 200 yeah that's uh 200 in the game so there we go that was that was the game see that's that's what i'm talking about with um with gumshoes able to take really good prizes like really really good trades that time they were able to swing back and kill him because i had to use him um as as a um as a big meat shield early on but like He's just able to turn games really, really, really well by the fact that he's able to trade with just one energy. It's really, really good stuff. But um, that was a really long game, actually. That was like 20 minutes long. So, uh, I mean, I, I guess not super long. So that's going to be all for today. Got a lot of coins off that. Let's go. Um, that's going to be all for today with Volcanion. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to be playing it this weekend. Uh, I might link this video afterwards being like, this is the Volcanion list that helped me do good. Uh, but who knows but that was that was a fun match against turbo dark that played a rangaroo and didn't play garbador uh garbador is a lot harder but thank you guys for watching again as i've said like four times i really appreciate it and i'll see you guys next time